Hi, my name is Sean. So we were tasked today to give a little speech for Zan, or Zane and Katrina. And um, Sean and I are gonna kind of pair up on this speech and talk a little bit about how we know Zan and uh, take it from there. So we're, we're privileged to be able to stand here today and, um, and talk on this special occasion. And just wanted to give you guys a little background on how we know Zan and then Katrina. So I've known him for 30 years, all my life. Wow! That's an accomplishment. It's been a long time. <laughs> so, Zan has known my parents longer than I've known my parents. That's how long we go back. Zane's a little bit older, that's why. Just a little bit older. <laughs> so, we started off, we lived in San Jose. Uh, we, we lived in the same apartment complex. So, Dajaranti, Asana, we knew my parents. And Zan was already there. And then I was born. Um, we shared a lot of great memories together. We played in the park. We even went to Sunday school together a few times. We went to Manteca, went camping, um, just shared a lot of good experiences throughout high school and college. And uh, I met Omar in high school. Omar and I went to high school together. And uh, at that time, I did not have too many Desi friends. So when I met Omar and I realized he was Desi, I was like, wow, this is gonna be a good friendship to be. And he introduced uh, me to Zane and then ever since then you know our group has just been growing and we're very fortunate to have you know good friends like Zane and Katrina and our whole group we're you know we're very lucky and we love them very much. So we thought uh, instead of doing a lovey-dovey poem or a quote or anything like that we thought that we shared a few things uh, to you Katrina that um, that might be useful as you guys uh, live together and, <laughs> and start, start your journey. journey together. Exactly. So, of course, this is going to be PC. It's going to be politically correct. So we're not going to go down that route. But um, we're going to shed the line a little bit. Just though. a little bit. So um, here are some things that, that you should know about. Just just based on us knowing him for this long. So, Zen is a hardcore Niners fan. <laughs> he loves the Niners. He just has all Niners gear. He goes to all the games. That's all he talks about. I'm just kidding. Unfortunately, he's a Dallas Cowboys fan. It's something we'll never understand. But um, we give him a pass just because he has love for all other Bay Area teams. So you get a pass to something you should know that he is a Cowboys fan. Uh, so Katrina, one thing you are gonna have to realize if you haven't already, you guys will probably need an extra bedroom just for Zane's shoes. <laughs> so Zane has anywhere from about 50 to maybe about 500 pairs of Jordans. So it might need an extra bedroom, otherwise the uh, real bedroom's gonna get a little cramped up. <laughs> so every time I would go visit him, um, this was, I mean, in our childhood, and actually even up until maybe just a few months ago, he likes to keep uh, some snacks by his bedside. And more specifically, he likes fruit snacks. And those little cheese sticks with the cheese, you know, that you get in your Lunchables. So, every time I'd go to his room, he would just have boxes and boxes just stacked up next to his bed. And I would always ask him, you know, who are these for? He said, for me. He said, if I had, you know, a midnight craving or, you know, just, if you want some? Sure. So, um, you know, something to keep in mind that he loves his fruit snacks, he loves his cheese sticks, so maybe having a Costco membership uh, would be good. <laughs> so, uh, the next one is also, this is another observation. So, Zan likes to keep his room very dark. Very, very dark. Um, sometimes I'd have to ask him, you know, where was the light switch? And he said, it's right there. Um, you want to turn it on? No, I, I like it dark. Lights closed, lights off, everything dark. He's always had uh, some dark themed furniture, but what we analyzed, what we figured out, I think he was waiting for you to come into his life and brighten everything. Aww. Aww, right? <laughs> and you know what? 
we're gonna be spending a lot of time together because they actually invited us to your guys' honeymoon. So all of us, we booked connecting rooms and we booked exactly the same activities that you guys will be doing. We are very excited. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> so, you know, all jokes aside, Zane, you know, you're a great friend, you know, you're a great brother, and, you know, we're very happy for you and Katrina, and Katrina, welcome to the family, and um, we're very excited to have uh, another sister join the family, so we wish you two nothing but the best, and a lifetime of happiness, and uh, we hope to share some great experiences and memories with you guys. Yeah, if you guys need anything, we're there for you. Congratulations.